Guess who curls are back? It's me. I know you saw them in the last video, but today they're extra popping. So we need a moment of silence for them. So today, I know you see what we're doing. We are trading my screen time for reading time. I feel like this is such a great idea. I'm very excited about it. I feel like it's a milder version of the 24 hour reading vlog. You know, it's without the sleep deprivation, the chaos, maybe a little chaos. And it's a great way to use my time instead of my phone. So I'm excited. I am excited for today. Now let's look at my screen time. I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, I'm not even that bad. <laughs> It's only three hours and 48 minutes. Can you see that? Nope. <laughs> I thought it was three hours. <laughs> Baby, it's almost seven. Oh! <laughs> well, okay. Let's, let's go through this. It is pouring outside right now. You wanna see? Crazy. So for my most used category, <laughs> I am on YouTube for an average of five hours and 48 minutes. Which, surprise, surprise, I am a YouTuber, I'm always on here, so I think that's fair. But the next one that I was genuinely surprised about was My Girl YouTube Studio. <laughs> now, if you're not a creator yourself, you may not know this, but YouTube Studio is the app for YouTubers, and that's where you can check your stats, you can check how many subscribers you have, you can comment back to people and stuff like that. And mine is very high, on a daily average, I am on YouTube Studio for four hours and 26 minutes. But I can explain, I can explain. There's a really good reason. Usually, I try to comment back to everyone who comments because I really genuinely appreciate every single one of you. I know this is very cheesy to say and I know a lot of people say it, but I really mean it. But my thing is, when I'm commenting back, I can obviously still see my stats and that's where I feel like an addiction may be brewing. But even when I'm like, okay, let's take a break from searching and looking at how many subscribers we have and let's just comment back. It's really hard because when you comment, you also see your subscriber count. Like it's literally right there. So I can't really avoid it. I was thinking maybe I should do something where I only check in the morning, in the afternoon and at night. But then if I do that, then I can't reach as many subscribers as I would like to. And I don't want any of you guys to ever feel neglected or feel like I don't respond to you because I do and I love you and I want you to feel the love and ah, uh, I don't know, forehead kisses. Mm -hmm. Just know I'm trying to find a good balance between being super active and also being off my phone. But then the next is TikTok. I didn't even start using TikTok really until last week because someone sent me, this is how it starts. Someone sent me like a skincare thing and you guys know I'm super into skincare. So then I like scrolled and then I just instantly fell into a loop and then I kept checking. Even though I'm only supposed to be on social media once a week, which is on Mondays, I've kind of been cheating this last week, so yeah. Then my next used app after this one is pretty good. It's just Safari, me just using Safari, which is an hour and 36 minutes. Amazon, gotta keep giving Jeff Bezos my money. I spend an hour and 23 minutes on average on Amazon and then Google Maps because I take my niece to school all the time. So that's an hour and six minutes. And then Goodreads, I'm on for 43 minutes a day. So that's pretty cool. I love you, follow me on Goodreads. So yeah, we're gonna translate all of this frivolous activity into reading time. I keep showing you my phone as if this thing is picking it up and it's not. Ah, This challenge is really gonna make me more mindful about being on my phone and just being more in the present moment. I think ultimately my goal is to have my screen time to five hours or less every single day. Let me know in the comments down below where your screen time is at so I don't feel bad. <laughs> and if it's lower than my seven hours, just don't comment because <laughs> we're working on it, okay? And I don't need you showing me that I could do better. <laughs> Today, we are gonna read for almost seven hours and we're starting super late. It's almost five o'clock. So we'll be reading from five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, 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 eleven, eleven, <gasps> midnight. Um, maybe, maybe not because <laughs> I gotta work tomorrow. No, we're gonna commit. We're gonna commit. It's fine. 
It's fine, we're just gonna be tired. We're gonna be real tired tomorrow. God dang, I knew I should've started this earlier. Procrastination wins again. So let me get the book that I'm currently reading. Una Momento. Also, if you love me, you would've liked and subscribed already. I'm looking at you, I'm watching you. Yeah, hit that button. Hit that like and subscribe button. And turn on that bell. Okay, good. I'll be back. Okay, this is what we are currently reading. Finley Donovan is killing it. And I am currently on page 130, I'm pretty sure. And it's gotten so freaking good. This was the best thriller I could have started the fall season with. Because it's easy, it jumps right into the story immediately. Like within the first few pages, something crazy already happened. And I was like, whoa, you know, whoa. And it just keeps making, whoa, every other page, every other chapter. So this is a great book to be starting with. And I feel like because we're gonna be reading for seven hours, we're probably gonna finish this book, which is just great. We finish a challenge and we finish a book. That makes me very happy. So we're gonna get started. Let me get my timer. Should we count down or should we count up? I think it'd be cooler if we count up so that at the end you saw that I was reading for seven hours, right? What do you think? No, I do get that, but I also feel like I'm right. So you agree, okay, cool. So we're gonna count up. Oh, 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 you crazy. So we're gonna use a stopwatch and we're gonna start reading now. Because it's raining, I do wanna get a little cozier. I'm gonna get something to drink, get a blanket and just relax and enjoy this book. And 20 minutes in and this book is insane it literally has me like on the edge of my seat like it's so crazy every other sentence every other chapter something big and crazy happens it's so good it's constantly fast-paced I love that it's the perfect book for the beginning of this season right now I'm on page 199 the beginning of chapter 26 and if you read this book you know this is where it's getting juicy so I just wanted to check in real fast, let you know how we're doing, and we're gonna get back to it. Also, <laughs> we're gonna be finishing way past 12 because I had to take a break to eat dinner, and right now it's almost seven, and we're only an hour and 20 minutes in. So this is gonna be a very, very long night. Buckle up, kids. Starting again. Alright guys, we are three and a half hours in, so we're halfway there, and I'm on page 286. It's getting really good, but I have some thoughts. I feel like the story is very good, but there's way too many like perfect coincidences pulling the story along, and that just kind of takes the reality out of the story, and consequently it feels less realistic. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it is a really great story. I am enjoying myself. It is a fun read, but I was hoping for more of something that was like eerie or like a little more realistic than this. And it's just, it's not that. So I'm a little bit sad about that, but it's still very good. I'm enjoying this entire process. And I'm actually really surprised how far we were able to get in just three and a half hours. Like I have less than a hundred pages left in this book. So we might even start another book tonight, which is really cool. I kind of want to update the Goodreads too. If you guys are watching this, I am updating in real time. So if you already follow my Goodreads, you can see exactly when I did this. It is currently 9-12 and we're only halfway through. So yeah, <laughs> we're going to be up for a bit. Let me update. We are on page 287. Oh my God, this story is nuts. All right, we're 80% done with this book. This is crazy. It's kind of just flying by. I'm really surprised. Three and a half hours. Let's go. Chapter 36. You sure Steven isn't here? Question mark. Nick was wounded tight as a drum as he turned down the long gravel road into the farm. 
My own stomach was already tangled in knots and the root. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Also, we are relocating to my sister's room. This is the first time we are filming in here. She doesn't know it, but it's way more comfortable than the sofa or the floor. So let's see what happens to Miss Finlay Donovan. As you were. Oh my God. That ending is insane. We finished Finley Donovan is killing it. Wow. Let's see how much time we have. Five hours. So we have about two hours left. It was very cliche towards the end, but I thought it was a solid read. It was pretty good. But that last sentence, crazy, 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 crazy. Now I get why this is a series. But now that we're done with this, we need to pick my next book for the next two hours. So hold on, I have three options. Option number one, Agatha Christie, and then there were none. So of course, this is about the 10 people who go to this deserted island and this mansion for a dinner. And then one by one, they all start dropping dead and then you have to figure out who is the killer. So this is option one. And then we have Frankenstein, which I've wanted to read forever. So this is also a very good option. And last but not least, we have The Maid by Nita Prose. This one is about the maid who's really good at her job, but then someone turns up dead in one of the suites. So we've got some really good options. I don't know what to pick. Honestly, I'm leaning towards either Frankenstein or And Then There Were None. So these are our two finalists. Should we read our first ever Agatha Christie book? I feel like I'm dragging this out. I think we're gonna read this one, but I also think we're gonna read Frankenstein later on this month after this because they both sound really good. This is the author's note that got me. She said, I had written this book because it was so difficult to do that the idea had fascinated me. 10 people had to die without it becoming ridiculous or the murder becoming obvious. I wrote the book after a tremendous amount of planning and I was pleased with what had been made of it. It was clear, straightforward, baffling, and yet had a perfectly reasonable explanation. In fact, it had to have an epilogue in order to explain it. It was well received and reviewed, but the person who was really pleased with it was myself, for I knew better than any critic how difficult it had been. Okay, Agatha. It is 11 o'clock and we have two more hours to read. And I gotta get up early to go to work tomorrow. So we're just doing great over here. But we are starting now. We have a little over 10 minutes left. And thank God, because I'm getting so tired. I feel like I kept falling asleep. It's currently 12.54 and I'm on page 50. So you know I was dozing off a little bit. It took me way too long to read this. But so far it's good. She's just setting up the story and it's starting to get interesting. But I think because I'm starting it so late, it's hard to pay attention and I'm getting really tired. But I think when I start reading this again tomorrow and the next following days, it's going to get really, really good. So I'm excited. But right now I just want to go to bed. So let's just work through this last few minutes and we'll talk about everything at the end. We made it to six hours and 57 minutes. I'm on page 59 and it is 1.08 in the morning. I am so tired. I should have started this earlier. This was a great book. I'm glad I was able to finish it so quickly. I gave it, I don't know, I feel like it's like a 3.5 for me. I don't know, I'll wait to rate it until the end of September when I do my wrap up, but it was good. It was like a great start to the fall season, but it wasn't like amazing. This is starting to pick up quite quickly and I'm excited about it. I'm almost like in the middle kind of. I like how she writes a lot. I like like the old timey talk and stuff. It's very cool and she's setting up the story very well too. She gives you just enough information to keep your attention. So that's cool. But that's all for me, folks. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm 
so tired. <laughs> All right, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Beep, beep, beep.